In this video, we're going to go over two new improvements or additions to 3D Coat 4.5. The first one is an improved brush engine here in 3D Coat's paint workspace. The other is the ability to apply flat thumbnail images here in 3D Coat's PBR material palette. So the first one is an improved brush engine and the main improvement here is the ability to fluidly blend between light opacity values and darker values. Okay, so let me try and demonstrate that quickly. And I'm going to choose the third brush draw mode that will modulate radius, depth, and opacity with brush pressure. So with the color channel enabled, if I just press lightly on my Wacom stylus and then begin to press harder, you can see the change. Now the second brush type here keeps a constant brush radius while modulating opacity with brush pressure. You'll notice how it's much more fluid now and more precise. Previously it was a little bit more splotchy and therefore you might have to make multiple strokes to try and, and get the effect you're after. You should also be able to notice a tangible improvement in overall brush performance and feel even when you're working with very large brush radiuses. So that's the brush. Let me undo a few times. I can even uh, just delete that layer. Okay, so what we want to look at now is here in the PBR materials palette. Previously, you had flat thumbnail images and a lot of users have asked, hey, what's going on? Where's my materials palette? It's basically been supplanted by the PBR materials and this new feature allows you to choose flat thumbnail images if you want uh, as opposed to working with a material ball like this. In many cases this material ball is exactly what you want uh, to give you some kind of an idea of how it's going to look on your object. In other cases you want just a flat image and it's not going to be presented very well on these material balls. So uh, let's either select another folder or create a new one to place our flat thumbnail images in because I probably don't want to mix these material balls with flat thumbnail images. It just doesn't look very tidy. So in this case I already have one created. So I'll select that one. Let me create a new one and I'll get this material properties panel. If all you wanted is just a color image you just click on this color icon here. If you want a depth image, you just click on that. Likewise, specularity or these other options here. In this case, all I want is just a color channel or color map. And so maybe I want something like this. And here in the preferred mapping option list, you have from camera as a default. If I leave that chosen, then when I hit OK, it's going to create a flat thumbnail image for me. Okay, And when you hover over that, just as with the material balls, it's going to give you a larger preview. And you can reset the size here this preview options panel and when you're done with it just click close you could click this here as well so what if I want a material ball with image like this wrapped around it let's click new and I need to select the image we can select the same one and I can change the mapping type. Instead of from camera, let's choose cube mapping. I'll hit OK. And if I want all of that default color removed and I want just the color from the image, uh, what I can do is right click on that, choose PBR Material Editor. And right here next to color, you have this drop list here. And choose replace. And it's going to replace all that default coloring with the image itself. OK, 
Okay, so let me choose that. I hit OK. And there you have it. Again, if I hover over that, I'll get a larger thumbnail. And so if I click on that, because it's using cube mapping, I won't see anything uh, in the preview until I try to make some kind of an adjustment. Now, if I wanted to change this back to a flat thumbnail image, all I need to do is go back here to PBR Material Editor and just change the mapping type. Camera. And with that, we will conclude this look at the new brush engine here in the Paint Workspace, as well as creating flat thumbnails in your PBR Material palette. Thank you for watching. We'll see you next time.